so just finished the legs um, and the head so the head um, I'm not going to take too much off this I'm just going to sort of expose the eyes and just tidy up a bit I'm not going to take it right to the leather he hasn't got huge ears so if I were to take it to, le to the leather they'd look a bit small I suppose so but I'm just going to go around just the edge leaving about a centimetre um, you know around the outside um, all the way around the tip well around the tip and then I change scissors because I don't want a straight line all the way around um, excuse me just the scissors so I now use um, blenders which is where you've got the one straight edge and one serrated edge. I want the ears to blend into the side of the head. So I comb it up and I just create a nice soft outline there. No sort of hard edges like, like there. Although that doesn't see that. Flick the coat up, then blend into the top of the head into the length that you've got on the back of the neck. You don't want height at the top of the head. You want to blend that into the length of the neck. You want fullness here, but not height here. Um, you want to emphasize the you know, width of skull. They should be square. The proportion should be square. You want that, you know, without looking, putting your hands into it, you would want to be able to see a nice strong head. So take it a little bit shorter on top and then just take the ends off here so it's nice and full. So with the ears, what I tend to do is just flick the hair up on the ears. I want the hair on the ears to be same length as the top of the head. So, um, excuse me, my nose is running pollen around today. I'm just blending that so that it's the same length as on the top of the head. Tips of the ears and round the back of the ears. You can use, I use a clipper with a, an extension. I've got the, the 10 on there and I've got an extension comb and I'm just going to take the edges, just take the ends off so it's not too thick at the ends. So it just all blends in like that. So the eyes, you want to, the eyes should be exposed. Even though they've got a full hair, head of hair on top of the head, you should be able to see the eyes when you show them. So I tend to push the hair back, just bring the, the hair closest to the eye forward and trim it quite close. So literally, that is quite close. Pull that forward again. And then with your, your blenders, no, come on, sis. just tidy it up. You want a nice stop there. Again, you want the skull to just be look really strong. So I create a nice stop there. I know not everybody does that, but that's just my way of doing it. Um, lift the ear. Flick the coat out under the ear. Again, you want to, you want just the same sort of length that's in the front of the, the, the skull, all the way round to about this point, and then you blend into the length on the neck. Okay. The beard, comb it down, quite full under here and a bit, a bit thick and a bit. Obviously, didn't comb that through enough. So I now, my guide for the outline of the of, of the of the muzzle is to use the outline of my ear as a guide. So all this here that you is I create. I follow that line around to the front. So this can all be trimmed back. You want a nice, neat outline like that that follows that round of the ear. You see what I mean? 
so that we don't have a thick wedge of hair on the muzzle I flick it out and I just I kind of layer it with these I just take the ends off blend that all the way around so that you've got a sort of a, a gradient you've got layers rather than thick wadge uh, you can pull this forward pull it forward like that and take anything that's sticking out like that so you do the same on the other side but you want you want plenty of coat on the head but but not over the eyes see his eyes like that can you see his eyes are clear oh we see it looks really fluffy at the moment it needs a damn good drench keep pulling it forward just checking it particularly the eyes but once this is drenched it'll all curl up again and you won't look quite such a fluff a fluff ball nice round shape there round 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 okay so there you go you've got hopefully you've got a nice outline that follows the outline of the body okay you can trim the nails if you want to um it's nice to have nice trim nails but otherwise that's it. He just needs now to go under the, under the tap and he will be pretty much ready. Um, as I said, I, um, just, just to mention, I, as I said, I don't touch him with a comb again now. Uh, he, gets, he gets bathed and then the day of the show, um, I use salt water sprayed on him sort of early in the morning. So I put about a dessert spoonful of salt in a, in a sort of a, um, a spray. Um, and top it up with about, I don't know, about half a pint, about 500 millilitres of water, of warm water so it dissolves. And that is the best way to, to, to create curl, curl and texture. You don't need all these expensive sprays. Salt water is the best thing. Okay, good luck with all your shows, everybody.